Soon after a voyage of more than nine years and eight billion kilometers, the New Horizons space probe will finally give us a clear look at Pluto's face. On July 14, 2015, the spacecraft will fly by Pluto just a little more than 12,000 kilometers from the surface. This will be the first time in history we'll have seen the little world and its moons up close. New Horizons has already revealed new images that show surface features on Pluto for the first time. As the craft gets closer, the spotlight will not only be on Pluto, but also on its shadowy ecosystem of moons. How many moons are there exactly? That's hard to say. Even though Pluto is smaller than our own moon, it boasts five satellites discovered so far, and there may very well be more. The first moon spotted orbiting Pluto, Charon, was discovered in 1978, but the second through fifth were found just a few years ago using Hubble data. Charon is big and relatively bright and has been seen in New Horizons images since 2013. Earlier this year, two of the smaller moons, Nix and Hydra, have been spotted as well. This animation shows Pluto heavily overexposed with stars in the background. The moons have boxes around them to make them easier to spot. This second animation has the stars subtracted off, making it easier to see the moon's orbital motions around their parent body. The moon's physical sizes are unknown, though they're certainly less than 100 kilometers across. In the months ahead, New Horizons will give us even more detail, and perhaps the probe will discover smaller, fainter moons circling that have never been seen before. Hopefully, it'll also shed light on how the moons formed. One current theory is that Charon and the other moons formed from the debris after Pluto suffered an impact from another large body out past Neptune. Another idea is that Charon was that other body. It whacked Pluto and the remains went into orbit to form Charon as we see it now, with the rest of the debris coalescing to form the other moons. Pluto doesn't have a lot of gravity, but it also lacks nearby neighbors, so it can hold on to several moons without losing them. We know many asteroids and other icy objects in the outer solar system have moons, but it's not clear how they may have formed. That may change when New Horizons finally gives us our close-up views of the Pluto system this summer.